Hello everyone and welcome back to Mixbuzz TV Mixing and Mastering Tutorials on YouTube. I'm your host David and today we finally test Tegler Audio Cream, my new high-end stereo VCA compressor with a Pultec EQ style, all in one unit. You read the title, and yes, it is happening for real. Mixbuzz TV and Tegler Audio are giving one of these baby away for free to one of you guys. I'm so happy to be able to do this. You guys made this possible with your support, your comments, your shares, so please keep doing that. And Tagler is being incredibly generous because not only one of these amazing units is going to be yours, but there will be a special discount of 200 euros for all of you guys, valid till March 31st, 2018, if you want to purchase a Tagler Audio Cream. And believe me when I say this is a great opportunity because this unit sounds great and it was a steal at the original price point. So take advantage of this discount. Entering the giveaway is as easy as it gets. Click on the links in the info box down below. You will only have to answer a very simple question about one of the functions of the unit. And of course you will hear all you have to know about it in a second here in this video review. We will. Actually, my better half, Amaranta, will announce the winner in a video on March 15th. So stay tuned to make sure you're receiving notification for new videos by clicking the bell icon down below and follow our Facebook and Twitter pages. March 15th, we'll announce the winner of the Tegler Audio Cream in a video. Before we start, let me remind you that we now have a Mixbus TV store where you can get t-shirts, mugs, hoodies, and gadgets. If our videos are helping you in any way and you want to support the channel, hit the store, grab something. Your support is very much appreciated. But let's get to the unit itself. The Tegler Audio Cream is a stereo VCA compressor, we said, with a Pultec style boost EQ for highs and lows. Please notice this, that the cream is not a clone. The compressor is an SSL style VCA, but all the Tegeler gear is their own development. They start from classic compressor and EQ design, and they make their own adjustments and improvements to them. And in this case, the results speak for themselves. This unit jumped on my top five of all time the very first day I hooked it up, but more on that later. First overview from panel and controls, from left to right, Bypass switch, it bypasses the whole unit, compression and equalizer. Sidechain low cut switch, it goes from full 60, 120, essential on compression for me, especially on SSL and 2-bus style compressors. Then the routing switch, pay attention to this one. This one changes the routing of the unit. You can put the EQ before or after the compressor, just with a flick of a switch. Then we have the compressor controls, Threshold, this spot is dented for precise settings, but also perfect recall. Attack is a switch. Classic settings go from 0, 1, 0, 3, 1, 3, 10, and 30 milliseconds. Release is another switch, 0, 1, 0, 3, 0, 8, 1.2, and auto. And one thing I'm very picky with SSL style compressor is how the auto release works. This one is perfect. It reacts in a very, very musical way. Then ratio, another switch, classic 2, 4, and 10 ratio with a very useful addition of the 1.5 ratio. I love that. You will hear it. Output knob is the last of the compressor controls, and this one is like the threshold dented for precise level matching and settings. On the top row, we have the Pultec style Boost EQ. These four knobs are all high-quality switches again, with a very nice feeling to them, like all the others. We have low boost from 0 to 5, low frequency selector, 20, 30, 60, 100, 140, and 200. High frequency selector goes 10, 12, 16, 18, 20, and 24. And the last is the high-end boost that goes again from 0 to 5. And this EQ sounds so sweet and big, it's not even funny. You will hear that. Then we have the SSL style VU meter and the on off switch. So in this unit, you basically have what has been the most common and most successful chain for two bus processing on countless records. Not only the combination of these two processors is brilliant, but Tegeler added a very neat function that makes it 10 times better and more versatile. With a flick of a switch, you can change the routing of your signal to either go into compression first, then EQ, or the other way around, first EQ and then compression. 
One of the questions I get more often than any other is, should I EQ before or after compression? While that question has no real answer, this unit gives you the possibility to test that real time just by clicking a switch. But let's hear the unit in action, and I'll see you at the end of the video for the final thoughts and some pointers and advice on how to use it, where I like to use it, and some settings. Here we go.
never felt this way Touch me You're not to blame I crave you I have never felt this way Touch me You're not to blame I crave you As I never did before Hold you on the floor, the things I buried under sand Are gone with the touch of your hand I have never felt this way, touch me You're not to blame, I crave you I have never felt this way, touch me you're not to blame, I crave you I have never felt this way, touch me You're not to blame, I crave you As I never did before, I hold you I'm gone with the touch of your hand I'm burning There's nothing left to do I'm burning There's nothing left to say I'm burning There's nothing left to do I'm burning I burn up you I'm burning There's nothing left to do I'm burning there's nothing left to say, I'm burning There's nothing left to do, I'm burning I burn up you I'm burning There's nothing left to do, I'm burning There's nothing left to say, I'm burning there's nothing left to do, I'm burning I'm burning There's nothing left to do, I'm burning There's nothing left to say, I'm burning There's nothing left to do, I'm burning I'm burning there's nothing left to do, I'm burning There's nothing left to say, I'm burning There's nothing left to do, I'm burning I burn up you It seems everything's working against you Ooh, oh, ooh. But keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room So close your eyes, just listen to your heart And everything you do is good for nothing Ooh, oh. It seems everything's working against you Ooh, oh. But keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room So close your eyes, just listen to your heart But keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room So close your eyes, just listen to your heart But keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room So close your eyes, just listen to your heart but keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room So close your eyes, just listen to your heart But keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room So close your eyes, just listen to your heart But keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room So close your eyes, just listen to your heart but keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room So close your eyes, just listen to your heart Breathe, breathe the world and find a way Breathe, searching reasons, play your game And never, never give up 
So this was Stegler Audio Manufacturer Cream, 2-bus stereo compressor and Pultec style Boost EQ. You know I love VCA compressor, especially SSL style. I have and had many, but this one, this one is something special. That's why I felt so confident to immediately swap the one I was using with this one on the mix I was working that first day that I tried it. And since then, he has been sitting on my two bus. Even not considering the EQ, what this compressor has that makes it so special for me is both its sound and its action. This will sound silly, but when I was learning compression, what I imagined a compressor should do was gluing things together. I didn't really know what that meant, but in my head, I had a behavior, a kind of sound that I was expecting from using a compressor, especially on the two bus. Well, this compressor does that and does it really well. It glues things together. And I'm sure you will say, no shit, David. Every compressor does that. Yes, but if I'm being so specific about this one is because it really does it easily just passing material through it. And when compressing, it's just musical. Not only it has the old gray face, thick glue factor that I remembered from the old units, but it does it in a very modern sounding way. Uh, the bandwidth is very extended and it has a larger than life stereo image. Top and bottom end of the frequency spectrum are so extended, but still controlled somehow. And when compressing, it seems like the mid-range, which is the most important for me, it gives you this glue factor in the midst that makes the material sound finished, polished, if that makes sense. The action is gluey and it brings up details and density of the material in a very special way. To me, it feels like it has all the goods of compression, but none of the drawbacks. It's very hard to make it sound bad, even at very high gain reduction settings, so you've seen it in the video. I could set it all wrong, and it was still not that bad, <laughs> you know? Then the Boost EQ in it is just plain awesome. Uh, you know I have a custom Vax EQ here, and this is so very different. The top end is, I don't know how to say it, it never ends. I could easily push the boost all the way up and it kept sounding good. And not only with the 24K settings when the curve barely reached the audible range, this is great at 10, 12, 16. When you go lower, the boost bleeds into the mid, high, mids range and it really makes things alive. The low end instead is what you would expect from a solid state Pultec, my favorite by the way. Uh, deep and focused and precise and most important, big. Compared to my Bax, just to give you an example, you can hear this one right at the first click. My Bax is more subtle in mastering mode, but the cream has that 30 hertz bump that you heard on so many records. And to my surprise, it didn't get boomy or wooly going up to higher frequencies in the low range. In short, to me, this is the perfect two bus processor, two classic units in one box. But the surprise was how great it works on lead vocals and I tested it on both male and female vocals, as you heard. I don't even want to add anything to that. Those examples should speak from themselves. So the Tegeler Audio Cream easier to stay for me. Not a doubt, it's definitely a keeper. And I'll even go that far saying, if you're at home, if you have a home studio, project studio, and you only have budget for one unit, this is probably your best bang for the buck. This will give you not only a great sound, but versatility too with the EQ before compression routing options. So thank to Tegeler, Victor and all the guys over there. On a side note, they are among the nicest people I've ever met in the industry. And more proof is also in this giveaway. Guys, remember, one of this unit will be yours completely free. <laughs> Just enter the giveaway, link in the info box down below. And as we said at the beginning, Tegeler offer also a 200 euro discount valid until March 31st if you want to buy one of these. Winner will be announced on March 15th, so stay tuned for the announcement video. Let me know what you think about this unit in the comment down below, but this is it for this video guys. I hope you liked it and I hope it was useful. Please make sure to like and leave a comment here if you like the video. And here a little news before I go. Soon we'll have exclusive content like mixing templates, plugging presets and much more on our Patreon page. So everyone interested, 
Make sure you follow Mixbus TV social media pages to stay up to date on that. Make sure you like Tegeler audio page on Facebook and drop them a comment too, because they are really being very generous. Please keep supporting Mixbus TV by visiting the store, sharing the videos and spreading the word on blogs, forums, social media. Subscribe, click the bell icon if you haven't already and see you next time.